Hello, I'm Rachel Jones for the Finance News Network. Joining me today from Clearview Technologies is Executive Chairman Victor Rosenberg. Victor, welcome back to FNM. Thanks, Rachel. It's good to be here again and lovely to see you. Thank you. Now, Clearview Technologies is developing solar photovoltaic glass units for buildings. How is progress? It couldn't be any better. We're uh, achieving all the milestones. We've just uh, engaged our second OEM manufacturer in China, so we have two of them now. Uh, and two other major achievements that we've done is the, the scalability. We've actually uh, scaled the product up that it can go floor to ceiling. Uh, the architects would like a floor to ceiling product, which we've done. The other area of the scalability is the scalability in terms of volume of production because most people with technology have to have specialised equipment. So they're limited to the factory where it's made and then you can only produce X amount per 24 hours. We are not stuck with one factory or with the two OEMs in China. Our product can be made anywhere in the world. Uh, we just supply our solar modules and our activated PVB and they can be manufactured in Germany, the US, South America, anywhere. So volume is not an issue either anymore. The two main uh, potential obstacles have been overcome. You've received certification for the US and Europe. What does this mean for progress and for sales? Well, they're two major achievements again because the UL uh, gives you the, uh, the license to sell in the US, North America. And the IEC, of course, covers Europe, so we have, it gives us the authority to sell in Europe. And it gives everybody, particularly end users, the confidence and the comfort that the product's been tested by the top authority and it is safe, reliable and structurally sound. And do you have any projects on the go? Uh, we're doing a, um, a demo project in Cape Cod in Massachusetts and that's with Aquagen. Um, what that uh, involves is the greenhouse and that houses cylinders which grow algae. The algae uh, remove all the waste and you get clean water coming out the other end. We play an important part role there in that we are the greenhouse, we provide the sunlight, we also provide the power to push the water, the black water, through the algae tubes. Uh, the second one that we're going to be doing uh, in around May is in Israel with a company called Roots. They have developed a root system whereby if you keep the, uh, the roots of the plant cooler, they get a much better yield, in fact up to 40%, which is enormous. They have approached us again to do a joint greenhouse and of course you need the, the light for the, the plants to grow and you need the power to pump the water through. And our government-sponsored uh, uh, project will be also be done around about April, May in, uh, in Perth. That will be more like a um, greenhouse lab or a laboratory-type greenhouse. Uh, we've got Professor Lee from Murdoch University who will um, project manage the greenhouse for us. He sits on the food security councils in Australia, the United Nations, and the Chinese governments. So with Professor Li doing the research and hopefully we get the results that we're looking for, which is a better yield, and of course uh, to reduce your energy consumption, uh, I think he would be a very positive loudspeaker for us throughout the world. Now to the last question now, is there anything else you'd like to add? I'd like to add um, a couple of things. One, that we in the next few weeks intend to open our um, Singapore office uh, which for us is the start of uh, penetrating Southeast Asia. We hope to do the same in uh, Europe, um, possibly set up an office in Germany, as we hope to do in the US, to have an office in the US sometime later in the year. And the other thing I'd like to mention that I just had a great meeting with Arab and they demonstrated uh, the first um, electronic mechanisms to show how they're going to help us create super smart glass. The windows that are capable of um, closing if it rains, uh, opening if they need more oxygen in the, uh, the room, um, reducing the light coming into the room, uh, Wi-Fi and so on. So it's a very exciting time for our company now 
and I hope to have um, samples of this new product development uh, within the next couple of months of this year. It's definitely a very interesting space there, Victor. Victor Rosenberg, thanks very much for the update. Thanks, Rachel. Thank you very much.